Morning everyone, today is my birthday and we're in London. So not going to be doing very much. So I thought that I could vlog my birthday and bring you guys along with me because I'm not going to have very much else to do. I've never vlogged before so not sure how entertaining this is actually going to be but definitely give me something to do while we are just in the house. Jamie, my boyfriend, he is working. So he's working till like five tonight. And um, so he works from home. Here in the UK, all the restrictions are still in place. We've still to stay home, etc. So yeah. Today I'm just gonna enjoy some of my favorite things. The simple things in life, shall we say. <laughs> I'm just going to be like chilling out and I'll show you what I'm going to be making and eating because that's all there is to do. Oh my god, I just got a glimpse of my spot in the viewfinder. I've done a skincare video the other week and now this is what I'm dealing with. I'll bring you along with me to see what we get up to, albeit not very much. Um, I got a few really lovely gifts for my birthday so I will share any sort of beauty products etc that I got with you. I'll link everything below if you want to check it out. First thing we're going to be doing is I haven't had a Starbucks or any sort of coffee for like 8 weeks or nine, however long it's been, nine, 8 weeks and I kept seeing everyone posting their pictures of Starbucks over the weekend so I'm going to go get myself a little coffee. That will be a nice little start to my birthday. Again, the little things in life. I hope you enjoy this vlog today, guys. Something a little different from my usual makeup tutorials. So yeah, first things first, coffee. So it's a pretty dull day here in Scotland, guys. As you can see, there is zero blue sky. I was planning on going to walk today, but that's definitely not going to be happening. I hope the sun comes out later. That would honestly make my day, but the chances are nil. Excited for a cup of coffee, a nice one. For anyone that knows me, like I'm a tea girl. I don't drink coffee that much. Like I don't actually drink it at home, but I like it like out in a cafe or whatever. Just gonna go to the Starbucks drive through and probably knowing my luck, there'll be a huge queue, but I mean, what else is there to do? I'm obviously gonna wait. <laughs> Hi, can I please get a large um, cappuccino with coconut milk? That's everything, thanks. Thank you. Okay guys, we got the goods. As soon as I got home, I had a very emotional time because my grandparents phoned me and burst out crying. <laughs> they live in Australia, so I just really miss them. And I think I've been so emotional during lockdown because I just miss everyone so much. Obviously they live in Australia, so it's not like I would be seeing them anyway, but just brought me a lot of emotion when they rang. So there was that. And then these arrived at the door. Have you ever seen such stunning flowers? Like I am in shock and like look at all these little buds that haven't opened, these are going to be insane. Thank you so much, Amy, for sending these. Like, real tears right now. So special. I had so many amazing cards and gifts from friends and family, and I just feel really overwhelmed and really makes me miss everyone even more. <clears throat> so yeah. I need to sort out this boiled egg face and this frizzy hair. So I've decided just to go for a nice bath, to chill out. I'm just gonna light a few candles, have a little face mask, and then I'm gonna do like a little skincare after. So I will see you for that in a sec. So I'm just out of the bath. I've had a couple of disasters to say the least. I used a bath bomb from Lush. Didn't realize it was like one of those sparkly ones. So I'm literally covered in glitter. My bath's covered in glitter. I had to like shower down after it and then sh rinse and clean all the bath. It's still on me. So probably gonna be finding glitter for days. Then I've just straight into my hair, washed it last night, left it to dry naturally. But the new shampoo that I've used has like left my hair feeling really sticky so it almost looks like a bit greasy. But yeah that's fantastic. I hate when that happens. I've actually got really frizzy 
kind of curly dry hair so it takes a lot to make it look greasy so it must be like really the really conditioning so yeah won't be using that again but anyway if you think that my hair looks crazy i promise it's clean it's just the shampoo has obviously worked really badly in my hair so i thought i'd just go through it like my skincare routine and like i'm going to do just a like a little bit of makeup today just because i want to feel a little bit nice maybe it'll stop me from crying every two minutes when i receive a card or a message so i'm going to start by using my exfoliator my polish choice this is a two percent bha liquid and i just put a little bit on a pad and I just go all, all over my face, avoiding the eye area. And this just helps to obviously exfoliate the skin, keep it nice and smooth, takes away dead skin cells, unclogs pores. And I did talk a lot about this in my skincare video. I will link that below if you want to see it. Yeah, I'll just let that dry for a sec. And I'm going to just be popping on some spot cream. Now, obviously, you can see the situation here and i've got a couple spots coming out which is not ideal but this um is the breakout control lotion also spoke about this in my skincare video so i'm just going to apply that like to these areas and it really does help to get rid of the blemishes that you've got and sort of prevent any from coming through the reason that i have this is because i picked it it wasn't even a spot and now it's like an absolute monster the next thing i'm going to be using is something new which i'm really excited about so i got this a couple of days ago decided to treat myself since it's my birthday this is the new charlotte tilbury serum and i've been using it for a couple of days and i really really like it but i'm going to probably do like a full review on it soon so once i've used it for a little while i will give you my full review but yeah it feels makes my skin feel really soft really plumped up and I use this morning and night, it actually smells so nice. Just press it into the skin and yeah, gives it a nice glow as well. And then to finish, I'm going to be applying my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturiser SPF 30 because you got to protect the skin, girls. I like everything that I'm using or anything that I mentioned in the video today below. I just feel like this is such a good like general moisturiser. It's really hydrating and feels so nice on my skin. Okay, I thought we were finished, but we're not. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Rescue on. I wish there was a cure for dark eyes because I just absolutely hate my dark circles. Okay, I'm gonna just let this sink in for a little bit and then we'll pop some makeup on. I'm gonna start by using a little bit of this Becca corrector. This is the under eye brightening corrector and I'm just gonna be popping that right under there just because I always feel like it goes really nicely on top of my eye cream and it just corrects any of the darkness before I then go and put concealer on. I feel like with just using concealer on its own, unfortunately, if you've got dark eyes, you can still be left with quite a shadow under there. So I always like to use something before I put my concealer on. So this one is really good for sort of everyday wear and you can see it really brightens up the eye. It's really like kind of pearly, so it gives that sort of like reflection. So even if you don't wanna wear concealer, and if you're not wearing any makeup, like I'd normally just put this over my eye cream just to make me feel a little bit more human. I'm just gonna do like a really quick makeup today, guys. So I'm now going in with my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is definitely like more of a full coverage foundation, but just because I'm breaking out a little, I am just going to wear something a little fuller today. So I'm just painting that on first, and then I'm gonna go in with my brush and blend it all in my Spectrum Be One brush. Shade I'm using is Barcelona, it's my absolute favourite shade for when I've got a tan. You can see it's pretty much just covered that spot straight away which is what's so good about this foundation. It's just really quick and easy and it's a really creamy base which is what I like about it. I did actually do a fresh tan last night and it's actually such a nice colour. The tan that I'm using at the moment is Skinny Tan and it's called Wonder Serum. I'll finish blending this and then I'll show you the the tan that I use. You can actually see this foundation has got a nice glow to it but because I've used obviously the Charlotte Tilbury serum and the Kiehl's moisturiser it's really glowy looking so I love that. Oh I might even got my ring light on, no wonder I thought the light was rubbish. How much better is that guys? We've literally been in the dark, I'm so sorry. <laughs> now that you can all see me, this is the tan that I use, a skinny tan, wonder serum, and I actually got it as a recommendation from my sister because she's got eczema, so she finds it really hard to find a tan that sits nicely on her skin. Now, because this is a serum, it's pretty hydrating on your skin, but what I like about it is it actually goes quite dark on me, like, bear in mind, I've just been for a bath, so it's probably taken some of it off, but me, I'm not somebody who normally goes really dark with a tan, I normally need like two nights in a row to build the colour up, whereas this one goes so nice. The only thing I'll say is it is really dark, so I sometimes struggle with it on my hands, but look at my hands today, I'm so impressed. 
basically what I did was I mixed it with a little bit of moisturiser and then I did like my hands and feet with a brush um, and the moisturiser and it honestly made such a difference because my hands are just got like a little tint to them. Definitely the best way to do hands. I'm buzzing. I'm now just going to be going in with this concealer. Jamie got me this for my birthday. It's the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wearing Concealer and the colour looks perfect for me, obviously first impressions. The consistency is really thin, which is kind of what I've been looking for. I mean, I'm trying to get away from using as thick concealers. Obviously, I do need the coverage, but I just feel like a little bit of a thinner texture would wear. Today, I'm 26, so I'm getting a little bit older. <laughs> trying to think about using maybe like slightly less thick concealers. That actually goes on really, really nice. It's got a nice glow to it. The colour that I'm using is shade 2 W, which I would compare to NARS Custard. It's kind of like that sort of light shade with like a yellow undertone. Just going to pat the rest over my lids and I'm just going to put some more concealer over the rest of my face. As you all know I love a good bit of concealer. Next up I'm just taking a little bit of bronzer with my favourite bronzer brush. This is the Zoeva 127 and the Maybelline City bronzer. I'm just going to really lightly apply. Obviously I've not powdered my base so I just like to put a little bit on with a really light hand. And it's just a really quick way to get your face looking a bit more tanned and a little more sculpted. For any quick makeup that I'm doing guys, I always just take the same bronzer that I'm using on my face and I'll just put it in the crease of my eye really quickly just to make me feel a little bit more defined around the eyes. And I just really like the tone of bronzer on my eye. I feel like if you've got green eyes or blue eyes, it really kind of makes them stand out a wee bit, but it's just a really quick way of getting something on your eye. And I'm just now taking the excess that's on my brush just out to my temple. As always, I just take my Precise Crease brush from my Kit Co. I'm just going to pop the same bronzer underneath my eye. I am going to set underneath my eyes as well, but this just kind of like sets the immediate area under the eye. I just feel like that looks like I put loads of effort in, but it took me like two seconds. Next up, I'm going to use a bit of cream blusher, and this one is Torrid from NARS, and comes in a little pump, so I just pop it out on my tree. And I'm going to be using my Maybelline Contour Queen brush for this. So what I do is like take a little bit on my brush, and then I'm just going to like tap off the excess on my hand, and then I'm just going to like press into the apples of my cheeks. Always looks really bright when it goes on at first, but I just keep tapping it out, and then. It blends in really nicely. I notice like a lot of people on Instagram like wearing their blush really high, so I'm gonna give that a wee try today. I feel like it's totally backwards from all the contour and stuff we've been doing, but it is a bit softer and a bit more pretty looking, which is what I want to go for today. I really like sort of pinky makeup when you wear green. I think like the green and the pink goes really nice together. This right here is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand and it's in the shade Spotlight. So it's a sort of goldy colour. It does have a little sponge applicator, but I broke mine. So I'm just gonna put this on my tray as well. I'm just gonna use the same brush and same technique that I used for the blusher. And it gives such a beautiful glow. Like it's so pretty, love this stuff. I really like this as well because it's really long wearing, like when it sets down it does not move. Whereas like I feel like a lot of cream highlighters can be really slidey so I really do like this formula. Like I know that when I put it on a client like it's going to stay on. A little bit here and a little bit up here. And I love a little bit of this on the chin because it just really pops. In fact I'm going to use my finger to do the chin. Okay, so you can see how glowy the skin is looking. Now I'm just going to go in and set under my eyes and any areas that make it a little bit oily and I'm going to be using my trusty Laura Mercier powder and the brush that I always like to use for under my eyes is a MAC 133 brush. I go between this and another smaller one but I just love this one in particular because it's nice and flat so you can just really pat it on. Just going to be using my NYX micro brow pencil just to fill in any little gaps in my brows. This is the point in the video where you start to realise that I'm an absolute catfish. <laughs> I mean, I looked like a total boiled egg this morning, crying, frizzy hair in a bun. Now that I've done the brow pencil, I like to just put a little bit of soap in my eyebrows, which just keep the hairs up. 
and you'd like to use this one here but I have used the one on Amazon as well so I'll link both below they are both really really good this one was sold out for a while so I did end up buying the Amazon one so I just like to spray a little bit of water into the tin and then use a little spoolie to froth it up into a soap and then it just goes through the brow hairs and keeps them sitting nice and upright I'm just going to take a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder in the shade 1. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that just directly under my eye with my 133 MAC again. And I just feel like that just really smooths out even more, but it also just brightens a little bit. Like, it just gives such a nice finish. Even just like in here, I've got like a little wrinkle in here coming and it always dents, like my makeup always dents it. And I just feel like by putting this particular powder in it, it just blurs it all. A top tip if you do have blemishes, I mean there's no way on earth that I'm going to cover this absolute beast. But if you mattify them, they do appear a lot less humongous. The eyeliner that I'm going to use is the Benefit Roller Liner. This is the brown one, which I really like for sort of like everyday wear. I'm just going to do like a tiny little wing. If you struggle with wings, guys, I did a full tutorial giving like a bit more tips and stuff. So I will link that below if you want to check it out. I'm also just going to use this to fill in any little freckles that I've got. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes first because I'm not going to wear any false lashes today. These ones are from Prima Lashes. And then I'm going to just add my all-time favourite mascara. Like, I cannot get away from this mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensation. And the reason that I like it is it's got, like, a kind of curve on the brush. I don't know if you can see. So it really curls the lashes up the way. And it also makes them really thick, but it's not, like, a clumpy thick. Okay, so that's one coat. Can you see the difference? <laughs> like, it just makes your eyelashes so curly. Okay, guys. So to finish, I'm just going to do a quick lip, which is going to be the start of the show today. And this is probably one of my all-time favourite lip combos for, like, everyday wear or if I just want to feel a little bit fancy. Love this lip liner. It's Hot Gossip by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to be using Bitch Perfect by Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick. This is, like, probably my desert island lipstick. Like, the one that I just always want to wear no matter what. So it's kind of like a peachy, pinky. It's so nice on brides as well. I use it on so many of my brides. Okay, I think I'm going to finish with a little bit of gloss. And this one is Fussy Gloss Bomb from Fenty Beauty. Okay, guys. So this is the finished, kind of like quick, natural, snatural, as Scott Barnes would say. If you're not sure who that is, it's Scott Barnes is JLo's makeup artist. He's brilliant. You need to go and look him up. This is like sort of snatural, everyday makeup. Just feel a little bit glowy and done up. And all these products are just like my fades. So I'll link everything below. I think I've got like a few family members like stopping by just to have like a doorstep chat, um, which will be nice. But I mean, other than that, the only people that's going to see me is you guys. So I'm glad that I have some makeup on because it just always makes me feel a little bit more confident and I enjoy doing it. I enjoy the ritual of makeup. I'm going to be making a cake in a little while and I will show you some of the gifts that I got. I've had such a nice day just like chatting to everybody and reading all your cards and obviously feeling very emotional. So it's been so lovely. I'm just going to show you like some of the cards and stuff that I've got. This card is especially cute because one of my best friends, Kirsty and Aiden, just announced their pregnancy and it says from Bump, which is so cute. I'm so excited. How cool is this card that my friend Eva gave me? I'm just going to show you like the photograph that it's copied of. How cool is that? <laughs> She literally cycled around and dropped off at my doorstep. That's so cute. My sister got me this card, like so cute. Guys, but can we just appreciate the glow up? My mum gave me a beautiful card, beautiful words. I was crying. In fact, you know what? I was crying at most of these cards. Obviously, a Kim related card there. Thank you, Katie. <laughs> oh my God, guys, look how much chocolate I've got. And yes, Katie Hendry, you are dead. <laughs> 48 cream eggs, like you're dead and I am fat. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love cream eggs, I love chocolate. Look at all the chocolate that I've got. Like, oh my god, guys, there's some books as well. Book club gals. My friend Naomi got me this because we are actually in a book club. Listen, don't knock it till you try it. I haven't read since like P6, but there's about 12 of us in a book club, I think, and we have been reading a book and then all having like a little meeting about it. And it's actually so funny because we just like sit and chat or slate all the characters to pieces and it's really funny. So 
this is going to be the next book. I've honestly been given so many beautiful gifts. Like, I'm so overwhelmed. So thank you so much to all my friends and family. Like, you are so kind. So I'm just going to quickly go through, like, the beauty products that I've got that I think you might like or whatever. Because obviously, I'm a makeup channel. So the next products you're going to see are products that I either really like or have already owned and are, like, repurchases of them or ones that I want to try. So the first thing that I've got here is from my sister. And she got me this Laura Mercier Body and Bath. Oh my god, it's a lotion. This smells insane. It smells like a mixture of coconut and cherry bakewell. This is unreal. Honestly, you need to try. Sorry if this keeps going out of focus. I'm also trying to hold it up. My camera is like so heavy. Next thing I got was like one of these little sheet masks, which obviously if you've watched my skincare video, you know how much I love these. They are so affordable, but they're just like such a treat. So I'm probably gonna do this tonight. I'm just gonna chill out, do a little sheet mask, have a little glass of wine. Jamie bought me like my favorite perfume. So this is the Twilly by, I'm not even gonna embarrass myself to try and say it. I think it's Hermes. Hermes is amazing. I know they're ginger in it, but I don't know any of the other notes. Then Jilly, who is, Jamie's mum. Love you, Jilly, if you're watching. And this is the body cream to go with it. So honestly, such a treat. Next thing that I got is from my mum and it's something I've spoken about before. I actually used it in the video earlier this morning and it was part of my skincare routine and I've run out of it, but here is a full new bottle of my Paula's Choice 2% BHA exfoliator. It's the best liquid exfoliator. It leaves my skin so smooth, glowy, gets rid of like congestion around my nose, prevents breakouts. Just cannot be without this, so thanks, Mum. The next thing I also used in my video this morning was the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. I just wanted to try this. I've seen a few things online about how it'd be really good. Obviously, I used it this morning. It's holding up pretty well. You'll probably see a lot more of this concealer in my next few makeup videos. So the last beauty product that I've got is this little blusher here. It's from Milani and it's called Luminoso. It's a sort of peachy pink shade, but it's like a real soft peach. So it's going to be like one of those blushers that's really soft and natural, but just stunning and just gives you a subtle blush. Obviously, I haven't used it yet, but there's a makeup artist on Instagram called Sophie. I'll put her Instagram on the screen here and she uses this all the time and her makeups are literally banging so I really want to try this one so thank you Joy Joy and also my home is now a jungle which I absolutely love wait till you see all these beautiful flowers that I've got so I am obsessed with flowers so I've got some beautiful ones from Jamie and my friend Amy got me these I think I maybe vlogged that earlier then my sister got me some beautiful white rodies, which are my favourite. And when these open up, they just fill the space. They're beautiful. And my grandparents also sent me this beautiful orchid, which is just so beautiful. I will try my best to keep this little beauty alive. Any tips on orchids, please let me know. Because I used to buy, have one on this table, actually, and it was so, so nice. But, like, I just couldn't keep it alive any more than, like, seven weeks, which was just a bit of a disaster. So love orchids but they don't tend to love me so if anyone has any tips on keeping them alive please let me know hey guys so i'm just down in my kitchen and i'm going to be making a lemon meringue pie now i realize as a non-experienced baker a lemon meringue pie is like quite difficult so my aunt recommended mary berry's recipe so i will link that below apparently it's really easy so it's a biscuit base instead of pastry i couldn't find condensed milk in there so i'm having to like improvise with the filling and I had to buy like this little thing. So I've got my biscuit base going on here and I'm gonna make the filling now and then I'll be back once that is in. So I just made this lemon mixture with this greens lemon pie filling thing. Now I need to put this in here, leave it to cool and whisk up some egg whites. The awkward moment when it's 20 to eight on your birthday, you haven't started dinner because you're making a cake and the cake isn't working. Lemon brang pie one Sophie nil. I cannot get these to turn into meringue. I don't know what I've done wrong. I've got hand whisk here. It's just not working. I'm gonna have to say goodbye to the pie and stick to makeup in future. So yeah. Just as well I've got 500 million grams of dairy milk and 48 cream eggs. I'm really sorry if it's a bit of background noise in the kitchen because we are cooking at the moment. Um, it's 
the lemon meringue pie was a total disaster. Now we're making dinner. We had a little Zoom quiz with my sister. She organised it with some of our close family. So we had a little fun quiz, which was really good fun. And it's really cheered me up after the disaster that was the pie. It's pretty late now. We're cooking dinner. Jamie and I are making tapas. So the first dish that we make is chorizo and black pudding, which you can get at Cafe Andalou's. And honestly, this recipe is just literally the same. And then we also make potatoes bravas. We've got these little cute as hell authentic dishes for a tapas. So we're just going to have that, some red wine, and we're just going to chill it. Hey everyone, so we've had dinner, we're very full, so yeah, this vlog is over. I have no idea if it's been entertaining or not. Obviously, this is my first vlog, so I'm sorry if it's not the best. I'm just really overwhelmed with the love from family and friends, it's so lovely, and I just miss everybody, which I'm sure you can all relate to. But obviously here in the UK, like we are actually living the life of luxury in so many ways. Like we're living in the 21st century in lockdown. We have Wi-Fi, internet, Netflix. Like we are really lucky. And a little lockdown birthday is the least of my worries in the bigger picture because it's all worth it for the greater cause. And one week closer to getting back to normal life, I suppose. Yeah, having Zoom and stuff is so cool because it means that we can stay connected. Anyway guys, I hope you're all staying healthy, happy, safe at home. And if it was your birthday this week, happy birthday to you as well. And if you have a lockdown birthday coming up, it's not as bad as you think, I promise. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you do like this video, please don't forget to subscribe because it really helps me out. If you like this vlog, please let me know. If you think I should just stick to makeup, please also let me know because I just have no idea. Thank you so much and I'll see you all in the next video.